Hello, welcome to Botany Class students. Now we are seeing the physiological chapter. That is the sixth chapter, last chapter in the physiological second year syllabus. That is the growth and its development, plant growth and the development. So this is the last one. And uh, you people have asked about the other chapters also. So I will send you the videos of the other uh, physiological chapters also very soon. That means within uh, two, three days, I'll send you the videos. Don't worry, I'm here to help out for you. Okay, so now we will see the plant growth. In this plant growth, how the growth occurs in the plant body? Growth is the continuous process that can be seen in the plant body. Okay, so here growth is the one which can be in the in the complete universe in which organism growth can be seen continuously. That is nothing but the plant body which will be seen, it's shown its growth continuously from its in the life cycle till the last life, life part, it will show its continuous growth, okay? So that is the growth in the plant body. One second, I will show you the slides. Okay, so in this, In this, the growth will be the one what we can say as the part of the plant body. So here growth will be occurring by the division and the redivision of the meristematic cells. And these meristematic cells will be present in different parts of the plant body. That is in the root stem and in the leaf. And these will be showing its growth in the plant. Growth will be occurred by the formation of the plant part. That is the stem is should be elongated and the root should be elongated and the root hairs should be formed and the lateral roots should be formed and in the stem branches leaves buds flowers fruits formation all this nothing but the growth in the plant body what we can consider okay so in this growth once the growth is starting in the plant body this is going to be seen from the seed so how the seed is showing its development? Once the seed is sown in the soil, then it shows its development by the absorption of the water and the seed and the seed coat will be removed and the new life will be started. That is the first life will be the radical, then its radical will be growing. Then that part is the tip of the radical that is present at the that is a seed attached to the seed is called as the hypocotyl and about to this uh, some other part will be growing and which will be promoting its growth above the soil that is nothing but the epicotyl zone and this epicotyl zone will be keep on uh, will be having the two cotyledons in the starting and its end and those are called as the cotyledons and these cotyledons will be start gaining the sunlight and doing the division and the redivision and the leaves are formed the, like that the new plant is going to be formed by this and for the plant to be starting its growth and showing its complete growth in a proper way it will be having the factors that will be affecting the growth that is the internal and the external factors. That means internal factors means the meristematic tissue that is present and the water availability and how the water is transported through the xylem. And the external factors means the temperature, weather and the weather in the weather, moisture levels like that and the uh, weight and the soil type, all these comes under the external factors where the plant is showing its growth. And in this one, uh, <clears throat> And the seed which shows its development towards the light always, that is called as the photoblastic moment. Okay, and the seeds which are absorbing the moisture and shows their growth, that is called as the when they will absorb the moisture and they will be showing their capacity to grow, show the development very fast as a young plant, that is called as the seed viability. Okay, this is seed viability can be tested with the thickness of the seed coat. And the intermediate stage means indeterminate means the, in the life will be continuous. There will be a continuous growth can be seen in the plant body that is called as the indeterminate life in the 
plant body. So this growth can be seen by the meristematic cells. The meristematic cells which are present in the plant body from the starting, those are showing the growth as the primary growth. And this primary growth will always be the one what we can say with the apical meristems and the root apical and the shoot apical meristems. Okay. And the next one will be the And the secondary growth that is after the second, after the, after some attaining the maturity when the meristematic cells will keep on doing the secondary growth that is the bark formation and the thickness of the stem will be increased the root will be increased that is called as the secondary growth. This occurs with the lateral meristems. Okay, so in the plant body, in the starting of the plant body, that is in the root and the stem, the common meristematic tissues are the apical meristems. Intricolary meristems are present only in the stem because in the stem only internodes will be present, nodes and internodes. So that is only having the intricolary meristems. And the uh, <clears throat> growth phase can be divided into three types of meristematic phase elongation and the phase maturation. And meristematic phase means when the meristematic cells will be produced more in the plant body, which is showing the specific growth at the specific time intervals. That is the meristematic. Okay. And the growth rate can be measured with the, the uh, growth in the specific time period, specific time intervals. That is the per unit time. And this can be measured with the arithmetic and the geometrical method. Arithmetic means only one cell will keep on dividing to produce many cells and other cells loses the capacity to divide. That is called as the arithmetic. And this can be measured with the uh, formula that L1 is equal to L0 plus Rt. Okay. That is the length will be elongated. That is the last length that is attained after the growth is L1. And the initial length of the plant body is called as the L0. And the R is the rate of the growth and the T will be the time limit, time period. Okay, and the geometrical growth. The geometrical growth can be measured with the log phase, lag phase, log phase, and the stationary phase. Lag phase is the sigmoid curve, like it will be present. And in the graph, we will take the time on the x-axis and the y-axis will be the rate growth rate. Okay, and here in the when the time passes, then the growth rate will be very less in the starting. So that is a parallel to the x-axis. Okay, once the uh, once some attains attaining some maturity for the plant body, then it will start its uh, vigorous growth as the very slanting. Otherwise, the a decline phase will be present. Decline line will be coming. That is the yes. That is the log phase. What we'll call. And after that, the again it comes as a very sharp decline can be seen in the plant. That is the end of the growth, what we can see. Very drastic growth cannot be seen, but the growth can be seen in the plant body. And after some time, it will be coming to the stationary phase. That is the way the growth will be stopped completely. That is the, it looks like the S shape. Now there is a sigmoid curve, what we'll call. So in this lag, log and the stationary phase, what they will ask in the competitive exam. And this geometrical division can be, growth can be measured with the formula W1 is equal to W0 ERT. Okay, W1 is the final size that is the attained after the division of the cells. And W0 is the initial size, initial number of the cells that are present in the growth period, growth point. And E is the natural logarithmic base that is the constant Okay, and the R will be the relative growth rate that is by the meristematic cells and the T will be the time of the growth that is the growth uh, time period what we have taken for the consideration. And here once the plant will be dividing and the redividing in this, uh, the cells will be doing the differentiation, de-differentiation and the re-differentiation. The first one is the differentiation means when the after the cell division, when the cells will be coming to the permanent state, that means the way they want to show the division and redivision that is called as the differentiations of the cells. Okay, and the de-differentiation means the permanent tissue will be again getting the capacity to divide and re-divide. That is the regaining the capacity that is called as the de-differentiation. Next one is the re-differentiation. That means uh, the formed re-differentiation meristematic cells will be again going back to the 
uh, merged permanent tissues that is called as the redifferentiation. Like this, the uh, differentiation, redifferentiation, and the redifferentiation words will be there. And this one they will we will getting in the neat exam and that means in the competitive exam wise this point is very very important for us okay so this is the most important topic what we can see in the competitive exam and uh, don't forget to subscribe this channel and uh, we will see the next uh, topic continuation in the next video okay right thank you